بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ مرسیفل دا موسٹ کائنڈ کنیکٹ ٹو اللہ بیکاز دس لائن از نیور بزی آلویز آنسرڈ نو ہینگ اپ نو ہارٹ بریک اللہ ٹوک ریسپونسبلٹی فار ہو ریڈز دا قرآن اینڈ ایکٹس آن وٹ از ان اٹ He won't go astray in this life, nor despair in hereafter. Today we are going to discuss endometrial carcinoma. Carcinoma arising from the endometrial lining of the endometrial cavity. Learning objectives of the today's videos are clinical presentation of endometrial carcinoma. What are the risk factors? Types, gross and microscopic morphology. The most common symptom is postmenopausal bleeding. Risk factors, any agent or factor that rises the level or time of exposure to estrogen is a risk factor for endometrial carcinoma. So, there is female infertility. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, use of tamoxifen, diabetes and hypertension and family history of carcinoma of breast, uh, ovaries or colon cancer. Any agent or factor that lowers the level or time of exposure to estrogen is a protective factor against endometrial carcinoma. Protective factors are smoking, multi-parity, breastfeeding and physical activity. Now there are mainly two types. Type 1 follows the typical hyperplasia carcinoma sequence. It is a more common 80%. It is associated with P10 uh, and microstellate instability mutations and type 2 which is which occurs in uh, atrophic endometrium elderly patients and it is associated with the mutation in the p53 gene now clinical presentation abnormal bleeding per vagina for the past five months prompts a 55 year old woman to see her physician she has never been pregnant now, hysterectomy specimen shows here a mass arising from the fundus projecting into the endometrial cavity. There is another hysterectomy specimen showing hemorrhagic mass filling the endometrial cavity. Also, this mass is infiltrating the wall of the uterus or myometrium. If we see the histology of the mass under microscope, this revealed complex epithelial growth pattern. There is little intervening stroma between the glands. There are branching of large gland glands causing pupillary structures. If you see under high power, there is multi-layered pleomorphic epithelium. There are frequent and abnormal mitosis. So, individually also features of malignancy. There is for comparison, normal endometrium, there is lot of stroma, few glands. Glands are regular in shape. They are uh, round and uh, there is multi-layering but normal epithelium. So, if we summarize the microscopic feature, abnormal glands, complex growth pattern, branching pupillary structures, no intervening stroma between the glands and glands are lined by pleomorphic epithelium. Summary, abnormal bleeding per vaginium on clinical presentation mass in the endometrial cavity and abnormal histology. So, 
the name of the lien is endometrial carcinoma next video will be on adenomyosis presentation and microscopic features thank you for watching my video please like and share and subscribe the channel